Good morning, friends, and welcome to The Zone. Today we have another challenge. This is going to be an Azazel Iron Man challenge. Uh, as you can see, we are starting off as Monolith, as was requested by the bros on the Discord. And today, <laughs> we have a very special challenge. Uh, as you can see, I have some gear here. We'll just get that on while I'm going over the rules. The rules are... I'm playing on medium difficulty. I have three lives. And my goal is to kill a pseudo giant with a knife. <laughs> yeah, you heard that right, with a knife. Uh, they like to torture me, and we will see if this is possible. Uh, I, I'm actually highly skeptical of the, ab <laughs> of the ability to kill a pseudo giant with a knife. Um, we'll see what happens. Uh, but first and foremost, what we really need to do is try to get some better armor. Because if I'm going to be taking down a pseudo giant with a knife, I'm going to need something a little bit better than this. Uh, I think if it is possible, uh, they never said which knife. So I guess I can try to get a better knife that does more damage, like an axe or something. I guess it's not a knife. A better knife, <laughs> somehow. Uh, and uh, if I get better armor as well, I think that'll that'll help out immensely uh, but we have to be careful though because as I said we're playing a Zazel mode which means uh, if you don't know whenever you die you go into the nearest NPC uh, which means that if I was to die right now uh, I actually don't know if it'll go to these guys uh, but probably one of these dudes outside shooting uh, I would go to them and I would get their gear and their stuff and that can be good sometimes, but most of the time it's it's not a good thing. It's actually very terrible. You don't want it to happen to you. Uh, oh, look at that. Army cattle. <laughs> We're already winning, boys. Okay, so let's just start off by getting some, some work done. I mean, basic tools, obviously. Gotta have that. Um, and, I mean, let, I just need money. Uh, okay, radiation patch. Uh, okay, uh, that's a lot, but I guess I'll, I'll, I guess I'll do it. I mean, that's a lot. Uh, because we're going to have a fun time attempting to, uh, uh we are going to have a fun time attempting to get some gear and stuff, uh, because, yeah, we basically have to become rich, um. I guess you might have work to do. Um, hmm. Okay, I can do that one. Bread loaf, that's cool. Um, yes, Val. Mm. Yeah, it works. Tashka Crony. Yeah, he's on my hit list. All right. So yeah, this is going to be a fun time, right? I mean, this little little buck knife, this can do some stuff. Pseudo giant got no uh, got no hope. I'll tell you what. Yeah, we're just going to have a really fun time <laughs> with this one. They really picked it <laughs> pretty well. Yes, give me strength. And I'm not exactly sure. It's been a minute and a half since I've uh, been here at the Palace of Culture. Culture Palace. There we go. Yeah. Always a maze, isn't it? Okay. Well, I'm definitely going to have to try to play this one a little bit more safe than usual. Uh, honestly, just because I don't want to have to deal with NPC gear. Okay. So where's our boys? Um. Uh, okay. Ain't too far. Ain't too far. Uh, tools are fine. Tools are fine. We can do that. Uh, the bread, I, th I think that's going to be... It's going to be fun. Um. Yeah. Oh, by the way, uh, this is uh, this is Phobos. By the way, uh, 
I figured, uh, you know, you have Charon. I was like, oh, Phobos. So let's, let's do another uh, do another Greek uh, mythological character and uh, try to keep in line. Okay. Is there any anybody around here to help? Okay. Here's shooting. I mean, uh, obviously, you, you want to run towards the shooting. Or I heard shooting, rather. And sorry, work is uh, bugging me. So if I get text messages occasionally, uh, that is the reason why. A little bit of radiation protection, too. Damn. I'm going to search around and see if I could find anything. Uh, but it does not appear that we're going to have any artifacts around here. Um, or shooting. That's always nice. Well, I guess I might as well just head to Jupiter. Kill that guy. Mr. Toshka. Which is also the name of a uh, guy on our Discord server, if you guys didn't know. He's a pretty decent guy, you know, I'd, I'd say so. Nice dude. Well, I guess it's time to go to Jupiter. Okay, we are in Jupiter. Get the big guns out. Yeah, definitely, uh, I don't want to be switching my equipment up. Probably save too, huh? Probably a smart move. Um, okay. See where this uh, Tashka character is. Oh shit, he's right there. He's right on my six. Well, hell. Let's see if uh, we can get a <laughs> early uh, mission complete here. Go this way. Got picked up some radiation as well. It looks like so that's always fun. Guess I'll actually take care of that real quick before I engage in mortal combat with my enemy to the glory of the monolith. That's nice. All is quiet on this front. Great. 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 <clears throat> The hell? Ooh. Oh shit, I missed him. Oh, that's him. Or one of his buddies at least.
guessing there are uh, multiple bogeys in this party. I'm playing it retardedly safe because I really don't want to die. I don't see anybody else. Let's, uh, I guess let's give him what fur. Okay. All right. Let's see if he had anything cool on him. Um. Okay. Uh. Not really, but we'll. Uh, uh, there you go. Some water. Uh. Guess I'll take his gun and shit. I mean. Parts are parts, right? Well, he's toast, so that was surprisingly easy. Alright. I don't know about you guys, but I was uh, expecting to die on the first mission and uh, become a uh, fucking Zazel bot. You know, that would, that would just suck. Is uh, I know you guys probably have noticed this as well if you play the, uh, the mod at all. At least uh, vanilla, which this is complete vanilla. There's there's nothing modded here. This is straight vanilla. Uh, if you play it uh, vanilla, you will notice that bots have really shitty gear. <laughs> it's in shitty condition. You know they'll they'll unload on you. You know all all day. But you know the minute you kill them, oh, some food. Thank God. Now the minute you kill them, you go to pick up their stuff. You can, as you can see, you know. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's Z condition 5%. I mean, not even operable. At least this thing would fire. You know, that's... But yeah, uh, I guarantee you, you know, we, we would get into a firefight and he'd be unloading on me and... Yeah, you know, he'd probably unload on me for days and... Never a malfunction. Ever a problem. But the second I kill him and take his stuff, it's, uh... I mean, sure, maybe he got damaged in the firefight. I don't know. That's... There's all sorts of explanations you could tell yourself. But there are mods to fix this, uh, which I am not using this time. Three. We're just going to search around here and see what we can find, see if there's any, any goodies hiding out. Because we could use goodies, especially on a freaking suicide mission like this. We could definitely use some goodies. Oh, don't like radiation. Oh, I'm stuck on... Oh, thank you. Yeah, we don't want radiation. Not yet, anyway. Not until we get a little bit better suit. Um, just want to see if we can find some more supplies in here. Okay. And the worst fucking anomaly in the game. <laughs> the burnt fuzz. I always hit them. I don't know about you guys. It's not like they really hurt you, but like dropping your gun and not knowing what happened to it, that sucks. We caught my, uh, this one, I think it was my freedom, uh, little Iron Man challenge I did. I was, uh, I, <laughs> I think it was, maybe I was monolith. I don't remember. One of those earlier ones, if you guys watch, uh, was running. Just hit one of these goobers. Next thing I know, I don't have a gun in my hand. Uh, I thought it was, uh, one of the NPCs, you know, knocked out of my hands or something. But I uh, know it was by the burnt fuzz. <laughs> so I ended up having to... I was basically playing as Azel at that point because I had to go and, um, you know, grab weapons off the ground. Nice. Alrighty. That's two. Two missions down. It's a little bit of, a uh, little bit of rubles for us. That's good. Always happy to see that. Let's see what else we can find here. Uh, nothing up here, apparently. That's cool. All right. But yeah, I hope everybody's uh, week's going well so far. Hope everybody's having a good time and. Uh... Ooh. That feel when no binoculars or optics. 
cannot tell what he is. I think he's monolith. My eyes are shit, so I apologize in advance. If you guys can make out what he is, I'm pretty sure he's monolith. Oh, no, he ain't. Uh, but I really don't want to be engaging in a fight with somebody who's got an exosuit on. So. Come here, friend. There we go. Easy peasy. Okay, that took less rounds than I thought. I thought I was going to have to waste the whole mag or something on him. Okay, thank you. Okay, we'll go collect his body, see if he has anything cool. Reload. Because I'm not playing with the uh, <laughs> the magazine mod anymore, thank God. I mean, it was, it was fun for a minute, but man, it's just... Uh, I thought it'd be a cool mod. I was like, oh, I should use this magazine mod. This will be pretty sweet. But uh, I, I don't know. I just wasn't feeling it. I mean, maybe it's just because I've never had to deal with it, and it was kind of alien. You know, uh, it's it's really good for immersion and stuff. You know, it's, I mean, I think so. So I might try it on, like, one of my, like, a super realistic play, like playthrough challenge or something, see how far I get. More freedom, boys, huh? I'll take that battery. Oh, no, he's not a freedom boy. Uh, I don't, uh, sh I guess I'll take the ammo. Um, uh, five. Eh. I'll take it for now. So I'll take that in case I need it. Because yeah, I've got a lot of. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good for now. I'm going to be heading back to a uh, fucking mothership pretty soon. Just to turn in those, uh, Turn in those missions, get some cash back. Uh, it doesn't look like anything in here. Nope. Yeah, I don't know how you guys feel about the magazine mod, but uh, I'm I'm not a huge fan of it for stalker. Maybe I just need to have it grow on me more. So no. Uh, Dinka over on our Discord. He's uh, kind of like the mod man. You know, he's uh, he's the guy that's running like twenty at a time. <laughs> that ain't me. Uh, but yeah, he he definitely enjoys that. And I mean that's cool. It's just I I, I wish I I was uh, involved enough to do that. Uh, but Vanilla still does it for me, so I usually stick with that. I might do a couple of weapons mods here or there, but. Sparkling water. A couple of weapons mods, maybe. Uh, I tried Provax, but it was just, I don't know. It looked weird. <laughs> it just looked so weird. The models, the textures, it was like, oh, the the designs for the, uh, you know, for all the, like, the, the suits and whatnot. It was, I mean, it was cool, and maybe I'll try it again uh, just to see what it looks like, you know, when I, when I, uh, configure it a little bit better uh but it was also really buggy i don't i mean i know people have had that problem i was gonna i was gonna ask y'all if you did but i know people say it because over on the mod db page i think it's got a really low rating which i don't think it deserves a super low rating like i, th I think it does I th if i remember i downloaded it like a couple of months ago and just never got around to it until recently but if, if i remember right it had like a 4.5 or something and I don't think it deserved that. Uh, but it had some bugs, for sure. Um, ooh, caffeine tablets. There we go. Uh, these topo maps, I wonder where they're actually from. Because this asset's just a picture. Uh, it'd be interesting if they're actually... Well, that could be. It kind of looks like... Renewable with the, the the power plant, like the huh? I mean, uh, I can't really even if I could make out Cyrillic and piece together. Uh, that's pretty fuzzy. 
<laughs> I wonder if any of you guys can. If you guys can, in the comments can tell me where those topo maps are actually from. Because uh, those assets are definitely from pictures. Uh, yeah, just let me know. I'm just interested. My autism has been uh, activated. Oh, of course. Can't go any higher. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I think at this preliminary sweep of the building is probably... I'd say we're good. I don't know what else we're going to find. I mean, I found those tools. That's why I'm like, oh, I should search everywhere now. Uh, but I think I will just leave it at that and continue on away from the burnt fuzz because you suck. Get over that. I think we'll just head back to uh, drop off these... I guess, uh, actually, I don't know what you drop off because, uh, for the, the, obviously, it's a, a fetch quest <laughs> for the, uh, the tools, but the assassination missions, I mean, how do you prove you did it, I guess? Like, I mean, because you don't bring back any, like, personal effects from them, I mean, that I know of. <laughs> like, I guess you just kind of, uh, they're dead. Yeah, I guess they just, you know, I don't know how you would actually prove that you, you killed them, uh, because, you know, they're <laughs> in the zone. I mean, what, what, how do you, you take a picture? What do you do? I mean, I mean, in real life, it'd probably be pretty easy. You could just, you know, here's his wallet, you know, and I'm lost again, aren't I? Yeah, a little bit. A little lost. Um, and we go to the basement again. Jupiter, damn it. Son of a bitch! <laughs> These com block apartments. Do I go down? Um, just doesn't. Doesn't this take you to. This takes you back to Jupiter, doesn't it? Or does it? I could be completely wrong, and that's fine. Yeah, that goes to... Or does it? No? Okay, I'm just... Yeah, I was just wrong. Okay. Guess I didn't know where I was for a second. Cool. That is fine. Where did it spit me out? Oh. I don't know if that was just a uh, music track effect or what, but I thought I heard some growling behind me. <laughs> my uh, my asshole puckered up pretty quick right there. But hey, that's, that's the name of the game here in the zone. And I don't know about you guys, but I'd be terrified as shit. Literally everything wants to kill you. Just, yeah, not a good time, man. Be like, uh, I was watching... Uh, I don't know if you guys ever watched Supernatural. I watched it when I was like in high school, uh, back in the day. Uh, I didn't realize they had like fucking 20 seasons or some shit on Netflix. Oh, there's some shooting. Don't know how the hell that happened, but we, uh, <clears throat> the wife and I were watching it. Now, I guess, uh, they have a purgatory place where all the monsters go when they croak and they, uh, they just kill each other over and over for all eternity. Uh, they go there and, uh, the Dean guy comes back and he's got some some PTSD, <laughs> some serious supernatural PTSD from uh, living there. And uh, that's what I imagine the zone would be like. You'd always be on edge. Uh, fuck sleeping. I would never sleep. Uh, yeah, it would not be a good time, man. I would not be a happy camper here. But hey, at least you got friends with you, right? We're all part of the big old monolith friend gang. Oh, and I passed it. <laughs> I get lost so easy up here. 
Honestly, yeah, Monolith is probably like... Anytime I get a Monolith challenge, I'm not like mad about it. <laughs> but <laughs> just the complete and utter maze. Okay, I know I gotta go up the stairs. Okay. Because like, they all look the same. Like, all, like army warehouses? Yeah, you know where stuff's at. It's not hard. Here? <laughs> it's like, yeah, I know what building it's in. It's it, But that doesn't help me much. <laughs> okay, yep, alright, yep. Making progress. Let's stop for a second and uh, genuflect to the, uh, the new monolith. Uh, down here. I think. Man, this sucks. I think. Uh... I'm just going to end up going in a big circle again. Yeah, they're upstairs here, I think. Well, hey, at least you guys can watch me uh, play around <laughs> getting lost in the, uh, the monolith HQ over here. I'm going to probably just edit this out, so... If you guys were doing this deliberately to see me get lost, <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, but I'm not going to torture everybody with that footage. Um, probably get edited out if I don't find it in like a second or two. Because uh, this is fucking horrible. <laughs> okay, maybe I go up instead. Actually, you know, now that I think about it, I do go up instead. Or do I? Ah. Uh, monolith, help me find my... Help me find where I turn in the mission. Please help me. Uh, over here? I was going to say this looks familiar, but you know what? It all looks familiar. There we go. Maybe. Yes. Oh, God damn. It sucks. <laughs> uh, no, you had the quest. The job is done. There you go. 1,200. 12, 12, that's okay. That's pretty good. Never mind. Um, conquer the enemy. You know, I mean, it's in Jupiter. I guess I should have just done that one too. Uh, you, you get your tools. Here you go. And we'll get the next one. Advanced tools. Uh, I guess we'll sell the trash. Um, okay, no trash to sell. To him, at least. Um, yeah, multi-tool. Should he go for... Uh, oh, he doesn't have... Well, the Swiss Army knife will work. So that's fine. Buy that. Let's start disassembling stuff. Um, you uh, can sell more stuff too. Um, yeah, don't need you. Don't need you at all. Don't need you. Definitely don't need you. Don't need you. Don't need you. Uh, I need the 545. Uh, what's this? Okay, those are just 9 millis. Um, yeah, and for now, I'm just going to sell that. Yeah, that'll work. Uh, and let's just start the disassembly process. Oh, unload. Nice. Didn't realize I didn't unload them. <clears throat> Wait, can I not disassemble? I thought you could do it with this thing. Or not, maybe you can't. All right, well, at least I can use it for repairing stuff. Um, all right, well, fuck me then. I'm retarded. You'll hear that a lot. Uh, I'm just going to stash the patches there, too, for now. Um, the ammo parts, put you in there. I mean, am I going to... I can't use that on the pseudo-giant, because that's not a knife. So, I guess I should probably just sell it. Honestly, 
Because it's, I'm not going to fucking use it. Um, yeah, I will sell it with the extra ammo. And I mean, yeah, it's not horrible. Uh, and first order of business, what we're going to do. Uh, if I have enough. Okay, yeah. That's, that's not bad. Um, okay, so I've got 28, so I can definitely get that. Got a teeny bit of food, but I sh I'm sure I can find more. Not horribly worried about it. Uh, and what do I want here? P rounds. Uh, FMJs would be nice. And this AP. Yeah, we'll just do FMJs. Just fill out the rest here with ammo real quick. Well, a little bit. We'll keep a little bit for reserve. Uh, and you, I will take, put this on. Give me a little bit more resistance. And get the cool gas mask effect going on. You, I will keep for later because I'm going to disassemble your ass. Okay, and that was that's pretty good. <laughs> this is a pretty good start to the challenge. Uh, I will see you guys back here next week for the next part. Uh, make sure you like, subscribe, and uh, if you want to check out the Patreon or the merch store, uh, those are in the description below. Until next time, I will see you in the zone.